What's going on, everybody? John Hammond, Pico CGF 2019. This challenge is called Unzip for 50 points in the Forensics category. It says, can you unzip this file and get the flag? And that's really all we have to do. So let's go ahead and W get this. Let's go ahead and make a directory for this challenge. Let's go ahead and download that. And simply we have a zip file. So we literally just simply need to unzip it. So unzip is a command you can normally run on your Linux command line. You can just run unzip on flag.zip, and it'll go ahead and create this flag.png file for us, which we could take a look at with eye of gnome, and we have unzipping is easy. So let's go ahead and take note of that. I'm just going to create a flag.txt, and let's save that as pico ctf, wrap it in the correct flag format, unzip Bing, with that leet speak is underscore 3a5y easy. So that is what we can go ahead and submit. And that was absolutely not worth making a video about. So let's move on to one more challenge in this. Let's go into vault door training for 50 points in reverse engineering. Also a pretty easy one. It says a lot of text for some experience exposition and background, I guess. Uh, it says, really, you just need to re read the source code for each level to figure out what the password is doing. In this case, reverse engineering, but it should not be too difficult. Let's go ahead and copy this, move over to our shell, and let me kind of clean up what mess I have here. Let's run finish in here, and let's create a new directory for vault door training one. Hop over there, w get this file, and we can go off to the races. In this case, we're looking at some Java code. It has a class here, which should be the actually executable kind of start point for that Java program. It has that main function that it will run through, and it tries to create a new object and read in from input with that Java scanner object here, and it displays enter the vault password, it takes in user input, and tries to add in a little bit of the flag format here, Pico CTF, with the user input. And it looks like it's checking our input and determining whether or not we actually had it correct or not based off access granted, access denied. It checks that with this dot check password function, and all that simply does here, noting the comment is that it just determines whether or not it's equal to a string that's already in this source code here. So we could literally just put the flag together like that. Let's go ahead and create a flag.txt pico ctf and paste that in there. That is that. So again, small, super challenge, super easy that we could just burn through and run through. Let's go through one more because these have all been pretty trivial. This one is rot13. It's titled 13. It says cryptography can be pretty easy, but do you know what rot13 is? So this is again a classic Caesar cipher. I have way too many videos on this. Again, not a trivial, I'm sorry, not an extremely difficult, it is trivial challenge to work through. It's simply the rot13 Caesar cipher. If you don't know what that is, again, you can check it out online. It has a Wikipedia entry for it. It's simply replacing a letter in the alphabet with the corresponding letter 13 places forward, or sometimes backward. It's all the shift and a key that they might decide. It could be anything mod 26, right? Because that's the range of the alphabet that you have to work with. Um, 13 works handy. It, it works well for us because that's halfway through. That's 26 divided by 2, right? We could do that with the simple ROT13 program, which you can find in BSD games. You can sudo apt install BSD games, and that will also give you the Caesar command if you need to modify the key, but ROT13 will use 13 by default. I'll go ahead and install that so we can work with it, and then we can go ahead and take that initial key that's given to us, echo that my face is in the way, and let's pump that to rot13, which would give us pico ctf, not too bad of a problem. Let's go ahead and save that flag, nice and easy, and we'll go ahead and finish that after we verify our flag.txt is there, our get flag.txt is there, and we can finish. Sweet. Let's go ahead and submit that. And you can see now we've kind of worked through our process here. We've made this pretty streamlined with those two commands, save flag and finish, and we're cruising right along. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed these. They are small and simple and short now, but trust me, we're going to get into some bigger stuff, real binary exploitation, real web exploitation, forensic, iconography, crypto, the good stuff. So thanks. Hope to see you in the next video. would love to see you on Discord. Link in the description. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. With the